Today on Sports Betting Truth, we are going to talk about Wong Teasers. Now here's the deal with Wong Teasers. They're, they're nothing new to sports betting. We've all heard about them. And just to cut to the chase, what a Wong Teaser is, is a Wong Teaser is pretty much the basic strategy of NFL teasers. Just like basic strategy in Blackjack, the Wong Teaser is the basic strategy for NFL teasers. So the concept is pretty simple. You're trying to pass through key numbers. And in the NFL, the key, two main key numbers in the NFL are three and seven. Those are the key numbers because in the NFL, most final scores end by one of those two margins. Those are the two most common final scores. So the idea being, if you can tease through both of those numbers, you can find yourself in a plus EV situation. Now, the ideal way to use a Wong teaser, or well, the only way to do it, is to tease one of six numbers. You tease an underdog of 1.5, 2, or 2.5 up to 7.5, 8 or 8.5. When you do that, you tease through the key numbers of 3 and 7. On the flip side, you tease favorites of minus 7.5, minus 8, and minus 8.5 down to minus 1.5, minus 2, and minus 2.5. Once again, you're passing through both key numbers of 3 and 7. This is what Stanford Wong wrote in his book, Sharp Sports Betting. If you can do this, you find yourself in a plus EV situation. Now, I want to point out, when he wrote this book and came up with the Wong Teaser concept, the payout tables for teasers were a little bit different. Most notably, a two-team six-point teaser was plus 100. It paid out even money. Nowadays, you're mostly going to find minus 110 on the two-team six-point NFL teasers. So the question is, is it still a profitable bet? That's a great question. Let's find out. I have broken this down, and I think the results will surprise you. So right here, I have a file of odds from the past five seasons that I have broken down in order to determine if these bets are still profitable. I'm going to get right to it and show you what I found. The answer is yes. And I was honestly surprised. I always assumed that because the payout tables changed and you know, books became more wise to the long teaser and they're not in it to lose money. I, I'm honestly surprised. But over the past five seasons, a two team six point long teaser is plus 2.32 percent. It is profitable. And for the past five seasons, it's been profitable with 2018 being the exception. This year, they've done exceptionally well. They are hitting at an 80.6% clip this year. You only need 72.37 uh, to break even, and that's on a minus 110 payout table, which is the most common for a two-team six-point NFL teaser. So I'm honestly surprised. And it's pretty much the same across the board, whether it be a three-team or four-team. It's pretty much the same. But over the past five seasons, you can find about a 2.3% ROI, just blind betting every long teaser there is. I'm surprised. So if you're looking to bet without a model and, you know, this might be your best way to do it, especially on the NFL. Now, it's not going to guarantee you're going to win money, but it is plus EV over the past five seasons. So I know what the question is. So when it comes to teasers, the general uh, theory is that the lower the total, the more valuable those six points are. Like if the projected final score is going to be 14 to 10, that's an extreme example, just go with me here, then every one of those six points you can tease are a lot more valuable than if the final projected score is going to be 59 to 52. And for this reason, this is why NCAA football teasers are always a bad idea. There's no such thing as a Wong NCAA football teaser because since NCAA football games are more high scoring, they have more possessions, more snaps, more plays, those six points are not going to be as valuable. And even though the payout tables are a little bit more favorable for NCAA football, it's just not a good idea. So for this concept of Wong teasers, the only good idea is NFL. So I actually broke it down by total. And surprisingly, even though the posted totals in 2020 are as high as they've ever been, an average of 48.1 points, we're still seeing long teasers hit. So here's the question. Is there a total where they stop being as profitable? Well, that's what I did in this example. So what I did is I sorted uh, the odds by lowest total to highest total and did like a rolling average of how profitable the long teasers are at specific totals and as you can see they peak like uh, they go way high early on at really low totals like anything at 37.5 and lower you're talking about 83 percent hits but here's the question as totals get higher 
does the win rate go lower? And the question is, and the answer to that is yes, yes. But at what point do they stop getting profitable? We can look at this chart right here, and it looks like we peak. So we got 76.7 .7 right there and 76.7. .7, and then right here we got 76.6. So it looks like whatever this number right here, 76.7 .7 is the point at totals that you want to make sure it's under that to get the most bang for your buck, the most plus EV. So let's find that 76.7, .7, right? Here we go. looks like we're coming up to it. All right, 76.7 .7 right here. So that number is 47. I'm trying to see if there's like a bigger cutoff. Is 48 is 75.6, 48.5 is 76.1, 49 is 76.7, 49. Okay, so 48 was 75.6, 47.5, 75.4, and 47 is 76.2. So there's your number. Anything under 47 is the ideal one. Any total higher than 47, you might want to stay away from it because it's not going to be as profitable. So when I come over here to the chart or the pivot table and I only select numbers that are 47 or lower, it actually goes up to 3.85%. That's what you want to look for. The six Wong numbers, so 1.52 and 2.5 and then minus 7.5, minus 8, minus 8.5, and a total of 47 or less, you're looking at about a 3.85% return over the past five years. And this season alone, 7.63%. So that's what you're looking for. And so let's just take a look at the Wong teasers from this season, right? The first 12 of them this year hit. The first 12 of them hit, but since then we're looking at about 68.4%. Uh, so they have not been profitable since September 27th, but you get the idea. What if we just uh, normalize it to 47 and less? Are they still profitable then? Less than or equal to 47. We have since September 27th, it's only 62.5%, but you get the idea. Over the long run, that's going to iron out. And I think just based on this alone, that Wong teasers are actually a very good way to bet without a model. Just blindly bet those numbers, look for them, bet them. I recommend the, obviously the two team approach. So just do a round robin of two teamers uh, because the payouts are the highest there. 3.85% is higher than 3.49 or 3.62. But just based on my research right here, I highly endorse Wong teasers. So I gotta admit, I'm surprised. Like I said, I came into this with the assumption that because the payout tables of teasers have changed since the Wong teaser was kind of became mainstream, that it just wouldn't be worth it. I just assumed that. So that's why I went ahead and did the research just to confirm. I actually made this video fully expecting to tell you all, no, they're no longer profitable, but I'm surprised. And this is why you do research, and this is why you don't take anything at face value and look into things yourself, because I'm surprised. So do I endorse Wong teasers? I absolutely do. They haven't been profitable since September 28th this year, but still, I think that irons out over time, and it's still probably the best way to bet the NFL without any kind of model. You might not win with a Wong teaser, but it can definitely limit your losses.